This song just... Very dynamic, from one section to another. No time wasted. Hey, this is where 1056 comes in, I would assume. Yep. Curious break now. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. This is fun. Damn. I mean, their vocals are so strong. Oh, what a part. So it ends. Wow. Okay. Explosive. Explosive first track uh, in our queue today from Ashen. Uh, two French bands, Ashen and 1056, come together. What kind of vibe with this uh, sample they used. Oh shit. Super, super fucking into it. This verse. Fun chorus. Really fun chorus. It's a really cool sample they built the song around. I love it. I fuck with this chorus so much. Is this a breakdown I'm smelling? Chat? Nice little groove down. Nothing wrong with that. All right, polar swimming with sharks. I'm I'm kind of conflicted because I really didn't like the last song. This one is much better to me. Uh, I'm still not like fully fully sold on their sound, but I do really like this song overall. Like the presentation of it, I really love that sample that they used. Like it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and it's kind of. Funny how they built the song around that. There's some melody on the chorus, which is kind of nice. You wouldn't expect much melody with, th with those kind of vocals, but there was some there was some um, level of layering the vocals on the chorus that that kind of helped it sound a bit more melodic. Holy shit! Juicy production. This is very sad, boy. Never mind. Okay, I do. I do like that chorus. It has an interesting. The production has an interesting, like, swelling sound to it. There's a lot of lower end. Ooh, holding absence vibes. I like the hole on either side of the chorus to emphasize its hit. In general, this is this band kind of sounds like holding absence a bit, and this song definitely has that vibe too. Please no breakdown. Please no breakdown. Okay, good. I'm happy. I'm I'm campaigning against unnecessary breakdowns in in music. That's a cool part. That was a nice climactic part to end the song on. Okay. Doom metal. Like not doom the game, like actual doom metal. Truly reverts 
assume the Lord. It's got a beautiful voice. This has a distinct sound that reminds me of something. Like the vocal layering especially. Countless days speak the countless ways we forget each other. Ways that we fight each other. Teeth to the end. I mean, they're staying true to their structure of style of repetition. There's a lot going on vocally in this one. I feel like a lot of the times Zeal and Arter, the vocals get lost in the, the gimmick of it all, but here the vocals are actually pretty impressive. Ooh. I don't even know what to call this genre anymore, man. Last album was Toyota Commercial Black Metal. This, I don't even know, it's just its own thing. Yeah, it's definitely like alternative for sure. The production is very interesting because it reminds me of a lot of like alternative rock band productions from like 2000s, early 2000s. It's kind of rough, not very sterile. Hmm. Zeal and Arter, fanned you off. What do you guys think? I don't know who's, uh, who's behind these instrumentals, but whoever is, they're doing a great job. Oh, the synth in the back. Screams! Oh my god, it's heavy. Yeah, for a 14 year old, she's got a deep voice. <laughs> that is true. Ooh, I like that. Those synths in the back remind me of some pop song from like late 90s. Uh -oh. Breakdown, side to side. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we getting murdered? What is this? I'm telling you, whoever's writing these instrumentals... <laughs> is fucking crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't- uh, what? Listen, I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I think it's very impressive that, you know, someone who's- who's only 14, you know, has their own project, has talent, clearly. I mean, the voice is nice. She's got that deeper register, so obviously she's she has that like kind of lower singing uh, parts, and, and the screams are you know again for a fourteen year old really fucking good. Even not a fourteen year old, just in general, they're pretty fucking good sounding to me. Um, I, I don't know. I just think it's you know a fourteen year old singing like you've taken everything and there's nothing left. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, it's, it's not to say that children don't have, like, complex emotions or, or, or like, experience that, that could entail that. But, like, but if you, if you remove that, I mean, it's a fun project. Clearly very, very skilled musicians um, alongside her, alongside Harper, writing these instrumentals that have been pretty fucking good. Like, I, I, I enjoyed the instrumental part of this as much as I did the vocals. And, you know, I, who knows? Who knows uh, what's going to happen in the next, what, four, six, eight years, where she's going to be, like, when she's she's an adult, whether she's going to keep going, have this project keep going. We're going to see. And I think it's a very interesting, um, it's a very interesting thing. I don't know. Hey.
not what I expected from this chorus, but it's fun. The production in this is very fun. The vocal, especially. Yeah, vocals are top tier on this. Carrying the song. I'm vibing. This is this is some hardcore vibe. Not hardcore, but like hardcore as a descriptive. Oh god. <laughs> Who the fuck invited Polaris to the bowling function? They're gonna destroy everything. He's fucking up the bowling alley. Note to self, don't invite Polaris to bowling. They're gonna fuck shit up. Have we ever heard Jamie sing? He sings half the chorus in Masochist. I might need to revisit that. That caught me off guard, the singing. You know, it's, it's always kind of funny hearing a vocalist that's from a very specific uh, band sound, such as Polaris, participate in, in, in another sound that's very different. Because immediately Jamie on this track sounds a bit weird in in that chorus part, but like a good weird. Like like I didn't expect him to sound like that weird in this style. Um, what a strange song, man. I mean, <laughs> I'm as much of a hater as as uh, of out play out of place breakdowns as as the next guy, but like it wasn't nearly as jarring as as I expected it to be. It was kind of funny more than anything. Just like oh my god, Polaris. See you in the next one. Next one.